We're on the bridge right now on the river and we've got three babies on their freedom ride. Faye, Flitter, and Star were all born on a dairy. They are infertile females, so they can't have babies. If you can't have babies, you can't make milk, which means they're considered disposable. And I just had to rescue them and bring them to my farm where they could be released and be free to roam and enjoy life and just get to be cows. We're almost home, guys. Flitter and Star were nervous about arriving in a new place. But Star and Flitter were very eager to get off of the truck. Whereas Faye was definitely not excited. That was a success. Our mission is to take in and help as many abused, neglected, and abandoned animals as possible. There are currently 124 animals here on the last head count. They're pretty much intermingled, so all the different species hang out together, which is really nice. When they first arrive, they go into a 30-day quarantine just to make sure that they're absolutely 100% healthy. We call it quiet time because it sounds nicer. Their first experience here with bottles was a really meaningful one. I've never seen animals more happy. As each day went by, the bond got a lot stronger to where now they are attached at the hip and they don't like to be far away from each other at all. The girls have spent the last 30 days in the barn, so now they're ready to move outside to a fenced area. But they're still gonna be separate from the rest of the animals. They'll get to see and have meet and greets through the fence for another 30 days or so, and then they can comfortably join the group. They are introduced slowly to more animals that they hadn't met before, so it's nice to see the way they interact with other critters here on the farm, because ultimately this is gonna be their family. In their previous situation, these three little girl calves were in isolation. Having them here to be able to cuddle together was really nice to be able to provide that for them. They definitely have formed a pecking order. Star is the leader of the group. Flitter is very loving and wanted to be pet and snuggled at night. Faye was very apprehensive and a little scared and shy. She's learning slowly but surely that she has no reason to be shy or scared anymore. The three girls have been in quarantine for 60 days total. Now they're healthy enough to join the rest of the animals on the farm. Today's the last bottle, really, before um, they become full of total cows. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Giving them their last bottle today is hard, to be honest. It's bittersweet, but it's exciting. They've made it. With a release like what we're about to do, what I'll do is play it by ear and let the animals feel their way through it. Um, if they prefer to do it one at a time, then we can do it that way, or if they want to go as a group, that always works too. It depends on the animals. I try to let them stay within their comfort level. There you go, sweet girl. It's a bit cold today, so Faye's wearing her scarf to stay warm. Plus, it's very calming for her. It's gonna be fine, don't worry. It's hard to say how each one of the girls will react. I predict Flitter will do very well. Star, she's very confident, so I don't anticipate any problem with Star. Faye might need a little extra coddling on the way out of the gate. She's often the last one to do anything. I know the other animals on the farm are going to be interested in the girls being released because this is a big event here. As I expected, Flitter was definitely confident in her cow skin. <laughs> she got right out of the gate and was experiencing it and um, taking it all in and very happy about it. And to my surprise, they went second.
Fe is actually going off on her own a little bit, which I am shocked because I thought she would be the follower, but she's actually leading now and wandering off on her own, which is very exciting. Seeing the cows run like that and frolic in the pastures is the ultimate indication of bliss. I mean, they are happy. I'm very excited for them. Fay Flitter and Star's Life from here on out, they just get to explore and get to grow up and live a happy, healthy, free life. Like, comment, and subscribe.